What's going on, DC viewers? Um, it's your boy W News Reacts One here. Um, we're gonna do a reaction to uh, Roman Reigns, uh, uh, Roman Reigns, uh, John Cena final promo. Uh, I do believe this is this is uh, last night, so I haven't got a chance to watch it because I can care less. Or we could just uh hmm. try to see what I'm gonna to react to uh, I guess I guess we can react to uh You guys know I cannot stand from my ranks because of what this company is doing. I don't think I can ever take neither one of them seriously. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Roman Reigns! Guys, it's September, right? Yes. Yeah. It feels like it's spring because it feels like it's WrestleMania time! No, it's not, it's dummy. Shut up! Not only has Brock Lesnar versus Braun Strowman for the Universal Championship, but it also has a match, Corey, you said that you never thought you'd see. So heated over the past few months, it's going to explode in LA. And Booker, you said something before Look. that really makes sense. It's a battle about who's WWE. I'm not a fan of Roman Reigns or John Cena. I can tell you this. I'm actually going with Roman Reigns on this one. Like I said, I'm not a fan of him. If this nigga does not beat John Cena at No Mercy this Sunday, I'm done. Oh, you really, is it now? <clears throat> is it John Cena's or is it Roman Reigns? I tell you, I look at this man right here, Roman Reigns, the confidence of oozing out of this man. We hear him talk about The Undertaker all the time. This company is so We're gay and PG. John Cena in the same way. Corey, we saw earlier tonight that he called the odd parallels of the careers of Cena and Reigns. Well, both of these superstars, Cena and Reigns, are anxious, hungry for Sunday to prove their superiority over WWE. John Cena ain't ready to go nowhere yet, no guys can tell you that. And John Cena may not have a choice if Roman Reigns has anything to do with it. Yeah, they're still born. They hate the character. I really hate Roman Reigns the character. Talk for me. That 
is why when I say something, it means something. Like when I said John Cena is a fake-ass little bitch. I'm telling y'all right now. That's because he is. If this but nigga don't be beat John Cena at number no mercy, I am a... John Cena is the biggest hypocrite to ever step foot in oh the WWE oh. ring. And if you don't believe me there... Where are Well, I did not watch this last night. I don't know. This nigga just said what we be saying for the longest. <laughs> when he made a reference to Alex Riley, oh my God. Then this nigga say he's still a, a fake B and he's saying, saying some stupid S. Like this nigga, he, like he, he, he yo. This just got real, y'all. I'm telling you, this just got real. I don't know if they actually planned this or it's actually scripted. Oh my god. I'm actually. Donald tell you himself. I was out here to talk about WrestleMania. I was out here to talk about The Rock. You know. The guy who's not here this week. You see, Dwayne is no longer the people's champion. Dwayne is a champion with people. I have a legitimate beef with Dwayne Johnson. And it's been the same problem I've had with him for seven years. Liar. This week, he should show up, raise an eyebrow, hold the millions in the palm of his hand like only he can, and then kick it back to Hollywood. Just like you're doing right now, John. Because I got news for you. That is exactly what's going to happen. Dwayne, I want you to listen. This is not a movie promotion for me. I always showed up and I never left. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You still kissing up to the company. Nigga, you are a part-timer. You are a portrayal of The Rock. What are you talking about? And then a year ago, he came back. Oh, I remember it like it was yesterday. Finally, The Rock has come home, and he's never leaving again. And then he left again. Like you're doing now? I'm here. I've been here. I'll always be here. You're going to have to kill me to beat me. The headline reads, John Cena. Always kissing. Johnson, always kissing. In history in his hometown, Miami, Florida. But you lost. Star. The complete opposite. He's the complete opposite of The Rock. Should we bring Cena out here, San Jose? Like, John Cena is the biggest hypocrite in the wrestling company today. Should we bring Cena out here, San Jose? I'm afraid that's not going to be loud enough because. John's not here. Good. Keep his butt at home. I'm tired of seeing this nigga on TV. He kills the Rainers every week. So everything he said was just a lie. It was just talk. <laughs> and that's why the result at No Mercy is going to be the same as it was at that WrestleMania. Only this time, he's going to be beat by a different Samoan. Some other nigga, you try to be bad. So San Jose, I'll see y'all next time for sure. And John, I'll see you Sunday, movie star. Golly. Okay. I like this promo Roman Reigns did. Like. John Cena will be in Los Angeles at Staples Center for no mercy for this clash between. Okay, I like this so far, man. I like this little uh promo they cut, man. Roman Reigns speaking the truth. Like every everybody that used to work for the WWE is exposing this nigga right now. 
and let's just say that they're absolutely right. I mean, after all the years I've watched in WWE, I personally think that it's definitely time for John Cena to just retire. Like, you don't need to be keep coming in and taking spots, just like you always have. And then you want to call The Rock a movie star? You're doing the same thing for years, so you're a complete copycat. So who are you to, you know, doing all this nonsense? Man, shut up. Hold on for a minute, y'all. I'm on my phone right now. Alright y'all, that was my uh, reaction to uh, Roman Reigns' uh, final promo before uh, No Mercy this Sunday. And again, Roman Reigns is exposed to John Cena. John Cena is such a hypocrite. I don't care what you fanboys or fangirls, what haters say. Like, the guy's a hypocrite. It's true. It's facts. Deal with it. Um, love y'all. See you.